Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mumco. Today I'm going to be reading for Virgo, my earth sign subscribers. I am being smoked out. <laughs> this is for your sun, moon, rising and Venus. Or if you're a cross watcher and you're interested in, madly in love with, or you just want to know how your Virgo ex is doing, then all cross watchers are welcome. All I ask, you don't wish any negativity upon anybody, please. Only positivity, because karma is a bee and it will end up coming back on thee, my loves, okay? Let me move that. <sighs> smoking, smoking, smoking. Let me just put that there because. Whoa. Let's get started. I didn't realize it was going that much. Let me just take a sip of my cappuccino. Oh, that's good today. Mm -mm. It's hitting the spot, guys. It's hitting the spot. Oh. Yes, of cups, drones come out. Oh, yes. Lock on the luxes of that. Like it. And again, this out. Um, oh, one more time. Here comes the sun, do 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 do, it's alright. Okay. Wow. Okay. Do you know what? Somebody has just come into your life who is very up in their emotions that has kind of like freaked you out almost to the point you think this person's love bombing you right you're like whoa 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 you give me too much emotions here they've been watching you online they see <laughs> with you i feel like you are somebody that they've never experienced before which as an earth sign you're very grounded you're very nurturing you're very loving i can clearly see it you just love love you love loving your family loving your friends you're very free-spirited you just grab life with both your hands and enjoy every moment i can see it but all you're craving and wanting is this higher level of commitment, this this meeting meeting your soulmate, meeting your your divine masculine and divine feminine. I, I do feel like I'm actually speaking to a, a feminine energy, whether you're male or female, I do feel like you're very up in your emotions. I do feel like you and your love interest have overcome some really, really tough hard karmic cycles leaving what you once knew and walking towards a whole new life whole new life i feel like you've changed everything up down to whether you've moved or transforming your home transforming yourselves really getting into your fitness um even down to eating clean i just feel like i'm speaking to somebody that i'm very much relating to who is like what you put into your body that is your fuel that is what's going to give me the energy and that's what's going to make me feel good so i'm only going to put in my body what truly is going to make me feel good yeah you'll indulge every now and then but what you're putting in you know that's your fuel right <laughs> i'm seeing somebody like work their ass off in the gym because it's reminding me of what yesterday i'm my spirit guides are showing me yesterday. Yesterday, I I know you're gonna relate to this. I wasn't gonna tell anybody this is spirit guides. Um, yesterday, um, I was having a bit of a bad day. I just had this like twist of like energy. I was 
I got up at um, 6 o'clock in the morning um, to do my early morning workout, which I do every morning, apart from Sunday, because that's mine and my son's days, like, chill out, relax, like, we have munchies, we have a big roast dinner that we make together, it's like the best day, you know? Um, I got up and I did an early morning workout. I was like, no, I, I know it's my, like, chill day, but I'm going to get up and work out, I don't care. And I knew I needed it. So I went on the treadmill, I was doing my weights, I was doing my yoga, I was doing all my stretches, everything, just to make myself get into that really good mind space. And then I finished. I was in the gym for about two hours and then a couple of hours later, I just started feeling really, really sad. And I knew I was picking up on a certain person's energy and I felt so sad, I felt so down. And I just literally, I was halfway through making dinner. Literally, the roast dinner was nearly cooked. I was out of my work, workout clothes and I just literally went upstairs, put on my workout clothes again and I went straight back into my um, gym, which I got in my garage. And I started working out and I was on the treadmill and I was, I could feel the emotions. I could feel the like frustration, the like upset. And I was like, why am I feeling this? Why am I up in my head like this? But then after I worked out, I was fine. Like it, that feeling didn't come back again, but I've never had that. I've never had that emotions where I'm like, right, I'm gonna go back into the gym and work out again. Like I've never had that. But I feel like that's what you're doing. Like your gym, like that hour in the gym is your like therapy. That's what's helping you get through hard times. It's like that escape and I, I know, I know. When I first started going to the gym, like, oh my God, guys. <sighs> yeah, I resonate with that. Since you've been working on yourself, since you've been loving yourself, abundance has been coming to you in many aspects of your life. I feel like you've been leveling up in work. You've been, it's like all the people that are around you have gone from your normal supportive network to like new friendships coming in that are opening lots of doors for you. That's what I'm feeling. And this, this Knight of Cups who's all up in his emotions for you has come in from nowhere when you're holding yourself in high regard. And he's coming in with communication of love and lust for you. I just get this like masculine just being like really cheeky and being like, so are you gonna let me take you out? We're gonna go out then? You gonna let me take you out for real? <laughs> he's got, I can see he's got these dimples. And he's so cheeky. It's like you can't help but be like, okay, all right, okay. And inside you're like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> but inside you're like freaking out because this is all you've wanted. He's coming rushing in. He is focused on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's seen what he likes. And he ain't holding back. Because <laughs> he sees this higher level of commitment with you. You are his wish fulfillment. <laughs> are you freaking kidding me, guys? What? What? <laughs> oh. You both want to nurture this relationship. Because you see a future with each other. Right? You're watching each other online. You're seeing each other from this whole new perspective. And you're willing to go above and beyond for each other. This is like st the stalker energy, you know? Instead of telling you they like you, they're watching you online to check out you are who you're saying you are. And then they're realizing, oh, wait a minute. Virgo, who is who she said she is or is who he said he is? They see you as very, very stable, very, very nurturing, very, very loving. It's like almost as if, oh yeah, I'm gonna plan our wedding. Like this is, yeah, this is, this is wifey. Yeah, this is wifey. <laughs> oh. He's so up in his feels. 
He's mesmerized by you. And it could even be, um, yeah, it could even be that you're like in your slobbies and you're like, what? He's like, oh my God, you're looking so good today. Like, wow, you're looking so good. And you're like, what? Like, I'm in my workout clothes. I'm wearing a sports bra that is like dripping with sweat and these old workout bottoms. Like, this is like not the best look. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's the perfect look. <laughs> right, that one came out first. Then that one. Okay. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Retreat. It's now time to, to disconnect from the world and to connect with each other. Financing career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Patience is key, my love. That's what I just heard. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic, part, romantic partner you seek. And then to have reconciliation. Yeah, this is somebody from your past. And it doesn't have to be this lifetime. It could be a previous lifetime. Somebody going back. Express your love, the top card. Go ahead and make your romantic gesture. Yeah. I love them. What's Virgo's love interest? Whoa, true thoughts and feelings. Top card. You are my secret passion. If you ever had doubt that this person has feelings for you, then see that energy. I want to create with you. I want to create a future. I want to create a family. I see a future with you. I want a future with you. And I'm going to show you exactly how I feel. You are always so sweet. I want to follow you through all universes and all times. I cannot bear to build it all again and watch it wash away. But I'm going to take the risk for you. I know who you are to me. You are my future. You are my favourite work of art. I can't take my eyes off you, I just heard. You're the only one who understands me at such a deep level. You have such patience and such grace, I just heard. Can we kiss all night? I don't want to let you go, I just heard. Wow. Seriously. It's like... Tch -tch -tch. Once you like first open the lines of communication, this person's going to be like, but <laughs> like, they're not going to be able to shut up. You feel like the sweetest home I've never known. How, how do I get you alone? I want to give you the world. I can't face you right now. The intensity between us scares me, but I'm still coming forward. Our love life can power galaxies. I want more with you one day soon, I just heard. How I wish I could hold you tonight and always, my love, I just heard. Um, you both know and have a sense how you both feel. I feel like I'm, I'm in my emotions for you. And I feel like you know that this person's in their emotions. Like to the point you have this overwhelming feeling, like it could be dreaming of them, you could be at home doing your normal day-to-day -day stuff and you will feel this person so intensely that you'll feel like they're around you. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like this person, yeah, I feel like this person sending you messages, but you feel it on such a deep level. Yeah, you, you definitely connected spiritually, without a doubt. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but the soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Making new memories together. 
freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Stop holding yourself back because something truly beautiful is right around the corner. Believe and it will manifest into your reality. Now shaft card for Virgo, please. Oh, and that one, no problem. Heart chakra, gratitude, air element. I am thankful and humble as I move through life. I receive willingly, lovingly and gracefully. I recognise and appreciate the small things in life and the synchronicities and the beauty that can be found in each and every moment. I am graceful. I am grateful for you. Gratitude. I am blessed to be part of the one and I honour and cherish my brothers, sisters, past and present future who have journeyed with me. Reconciliation. <laughs> the difference of polarity are not a threat, but an alternative view and experience. I embrace the shared experience, myself and others, as an external being. We are one. We belong. <laughs> you two are coming together and it's so, 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 so beautiful. Follow that intuition, follow that gut, because it's guiding you home towards each other. I hope it's gave you the clarity that you needed, Virgo. Sending you so much love. If you're a new subscriber or an old subscriber, thank you so much for love and support. It truly means the world to me. May love and light guide you on your amazing spiritual journey, my loves. See you next time. Bye, Virgo. Bye, lovelies.